The public absence of Catherine, Princess of Wales, has sparked widespread discussion online in recent days. What started as concern from royal watchers has turned into conspiracy theories on social media. Questions have swirled around Kate's health after it was announced that she was recovering from abdominal surgery in January. Palace officials said she wasn't set to make any public appearances until after Easter. But then they released a new photo of Kate with her children on Sunday for Mother's Day. Now, controversy quickly arose after several major news agencies pulled down the image, citing concerns about digital manipulation. The Princess of Wales later apologized for the confusion caused by her editing the photo. Since then, the hashtag KateGate has been trending on various platforms discussing the saga and Kate's whereabouts. For more on that, I'm joined by Kristen Meisner. She's a royal uh, commentator and co-host of The Daily Fail. We have reached her tonight in New York City. Okay, let's talk about this because I know everybody else is. Uh, you know, I was in the makeup room, they were talking about it. I was in uh, an Uber, they were talking about it as well. Uh, why has this Mother's Day photo caused so much buzz? You know, the world was so eager for any image, for any word from Kate. We have not seen her since Christmas, lest we forget. It's been two and a half months since we last saw her, now going on three months without seeing her. And the only image we have seen in these months has been a paparazzi shot in TMZ, which the palace refused uh, to acknowledge and put a clamp down on publishing throughout the UK. We did see it here in the US. And uh, that's all we have seen of Kate in months. And so the world was very eager to see not just that Kate was, you know, uh, happy and healthy, but actually proof of life because we have not heard anything from her as opposed to what we've been getting from Charles, which has been uh, repeated public statements, videos, photos of him throughout his cancer. And so we wanted to see Kate and then to see a version of Kate that is so manipulated, so bad that all of the major press outlets and distributors in the world have said, this is uh, contrary to all of our journalistic standards, we cannot publish this. It raises a lot of suspicions and makes people worry, is Kate actually okay? This did nothing to allay anyone's concerns at all. It just raised more suspicions. So, I mean, wh what do people want right now, Kristen? Do they want, you know, a picture of Kate holding up a current newspaper or something like that? <laughs> you know, you're talking about <laughs> proof of life. I mean, what do you think will sa satisfy folks? You know, I really... I really think that uh, Kate's camp in Kensington Palace should take a cue from what Charles is doing in Buckingham Palace. Like I said, mm -hmm. uh, releasing photos. Charles has had a video and photos of him reading thank you cards. He has uh, uh, gone about his business. There have been posts on social media. And we're not saying we need daily mm -hmm. updates from Kate. We're not saying that we need every minute of her life documented. But this is so unusual for somebody whose job is essentially to be photographed. She is essentially a PR agent for what it means to be British in the world, for the monarchy. And to not see her this long and for the messaging to be so cagey is not enough. Yeah. We need more transparency or the conspiracy theories are going to continue. And we know the palace does not like those conspiracy theories. Well, they sure. have even put out a, a stern statement about them. It sh okay, so they put out a statement about the conspiracy theories, um, but they have done nothing really to uh, the, like stop them. I mean, if this was a nothing burger, would we see something more uh, forceful and direct from the palace? Not necessarily. The palace is messaging can uh, vary from situation to situation. Hmm. And we're in a situation that we have never seen before, frankly, from the palace. I have never seen anything like this. I've been covering the royals since Kate and Wills first got married. And we've never seen anything on this level before uh, where there are suspicions that are, are in some cases, uh, you know, about their marriage, about whether or not she's even alive. And so uh, this level of suspicion on the public's part, the Palace has just never blown their communications this badly before. This is just one mistake after another on their part. The it, lack of transparency, their attempt at transparency being this Mother's Day photo and then it being so bad. And then the apology statement about the Mother's Day photo coming from Kate, even though Will was the one who was credited with taking the photo, everything just gets more and more confusing with every message from the palace. I, I wonder as a last question, you know, what the uh, interest level has been over in the UK. I know that certainly there's a lot of interest in this country and then also internationally. Yeah, I mean, 
absolutely the interest has been enormous across the world, huge in the UK, huge in all of the Commonwealth and the former colonies. In the US, we, we were once a colony ourselves, and there's great interest in what's happening here, and also great interest in how the media is covering it. Uh, the UK media, it's quite interesting, is really protective in how they talk about Kate for the most part. And in the US, there are questions where a lot of us really love Meghan, and we're wondering, why are you being so protective of Kate when you never were this protective of Meghan? And so there's a lot to analyze in the media coverage right now. There certainly is. Kristen, appreciate your analysis tonight. That is Kristen Meisner. She is a royal commentator and co-host of The Daily Fail.